Hello everyone, welcome back to EO4, Paradox Gamer Playing. And uh, I think it's time now to, uh, to throw in the towel. Uh, if we do the math, we can see that we have 40 years left. And I can convert about 5 to 6 provinces a year. So that's about 250 maybe provinces I can convert still in the game. And as you can see there are still 280 Protestant. Plus all the others down here. So it's just simply not going to happen. There's not enough time left to get everything converted. I can get pretty close, maybe with like 50 provinces left or something like that. Could probably do that. But I can already see now it's not going to happen. So might as well just end it. Uh, so what's uh, what are the main things that made this impossible for me? First thing is the trade companies. I hope that's going to be changed in future episodes or future um, versions of the game. But the fact that all these all these provinces in Africa, Asia, and even in Indonesia, all the way up to, to China, they will all join trade companies. And as a trade company, there is a penalty of 100% to convert. So all the Europeans will automatically make all these provinces trade companies, which means they will never be converted. And so basically you have to fight all the Europeans and get all of their African and Asian stuff. That's just a huge task. I mean, I, I still have to fight France just to get these provinces, they have one here, they have one here, and they're never gonna convert those. They got a few more. Um, that's just crazy. Um, that's not gonna happen. Also, they are allowed to have a, a colony that is Protestant without doing anything about it. That's also silly. Um, then the fact that England is in the um, personal union with Scandinavia that also I thought at first it was a good thing but as, as it turned out it was very bad because Scandinavia is not even close to being able to um, to inherit them and for some reason England never wanted to get free so you have this Protestant nation that is protected by Scandinavia and her allies and you just never can't really get to it So, I also think I probably let the European uh, countries bec become too big. There should be more pressure on the Europeans from the start. Uh, I pretty much left Europe alone for the most of the game. And we can see now that I'm in Europe, I have possessions here and there. But it's just uh, it's too, too difficult. And the Catholic nations didn't really help me out much. Um, Austria, they did soak up some of the miners in uh, Europe and converted that, that's fine, but that's all they did. Commonwealth was mostly annoying because they were the emperor for a long time, so I had to fight them, a big Catholic nation, I had to fight them every time I wanted to do something in Europe. So they never really helped me, only France, France was the only one that helps me, helped me out. and. Still, I have to fight France at some point. Spain and Portugal, the usual big shot Catholics. They're just a shadow of themselves. They never really did anything other than colonizing most of the uh, known world. Actually, France colonized a lot more. There's no doubt in my mind I would get Ming. Ming is not the problem. Japan, I would get no problem. All of this. Passai. Tidor Brunei is a protectorate of France, so I still have to fight France for that as well. I also have to fight Portugal to get Portuguese South Africa and Goa, because that's also part of a trade uh, company, so they will never convert that stuff either.
yeah, so um, with 40 years left of the game, I'm sorry to say that this is not going to happen. Um, I did my best, so this is it. Thank you for following, and I hope you uh, enjoyed it anyway, and uh, maybe got some tips and tricks yourself to try this out with um, either Catholic Ottomans or some of the others. Won't Faith is is practically a world conquest because you can't be sure about anything. So you should have the focus uh, from the start, from the get go that this is a world conquest. I didn't have that focus. I left Europe more or less to itself, and you can't do that when you're doing One Faith. If you do that, you have to be very, very lucky with how conversions turn out. This is even not bad at all. There's a lot of Catholic in there. So, yeah. So, I uh, hope you'll join me for some of my next series. I haven't decided yet what to do, but there's a new DLC coming out with um, a lot of new f interesting stuff. So, I think I'd rather just dig into that and then leave this as it is. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.